Hey, what's up guys? This is Fuad. In this video, I'll show you how to make a DIY WWB ring. Now you want to start off with a corrugated piece of cardboard, take as bigger size as possible. You want to mark a square, a large square, depending on the size you want your DIY WWE ring to be. Now you want to use your exacto knife and cut out the large square. Now on each corner, you want to take a marker or a sign pen and mark dots. Not exactly to the corner, but have a little space. Now use your exacto knife and make the hole. Try to make it a fairly large hole, about a half a centimeter diameter. Now for the edge of the ring, you want to mark a rectangle on another piece of cardboard. This is basically the stand, the four stands on the ring. And once again, cut out the rectangle. Now you want to use this rectangular piece, use your glue, glue it onto the edge of the piece and stick it under the large square. Now just like this, you're going to use some more hot glue to secure it better in place. And you want to do it four times on four edges. Now using bamboo skewers, you want to get rid of the pointy ends using a tool or a scissor. Now you want to mark the center of it and cut it out. Just like this, you want to have 16 even pieces of barbecue sticks. Four together will form the post at each corner. Then you want to cut out four even squares of cardboard. Now you want to turn your model over. Using your ruler, you're going to determine a specific height. For example, for me, it was four centimeters. Using your pen or a marker, you want to mark that spot. Now you want to hot glue two edges of the square and you want to glue it on to the body. Once again, you want to secure it better in place using some excessive glue onto the edges. Repeat this four times for four corners and you can see it's really rigid and nice. Now you want to take four barbecue sticks and take a little piece of a duct tape and wrap it around at one end. Now you want to slip it through the hole and it shouldn't go any further because of that square cardboard piece. That's what you want. Just to make some room for myself to hot glue, I'm going to cut out a little piece of a square so that it's just easier for me to work through. Now using your hot glue, you want to stick the barbecue sticks onto the piece of cardboard, just like so. And once again, use some hot glue onto every corners and edges so that it's really nice and strong. From the other side, you want to work your hot glue all the way around the barbecue sticks so that it's also more stable. Now it's time to have the strings. I'm using a piece of cotton yarn, but you could also use rope or rubber band, whatever works best for you. And you can see this is really nice. So you want to determine the right amount of string that you're gonna need and make a knot at the end, just like this. After making the knot, you can test it out and you can see that the stretchness is pretty nice. 
you want to stick the string onto the third barbecue stick from the four, the outer part, just like this, as you can see, so that later on we can hot glue it and then work your way through. So you want to repeat that onto four corners and you can see the nice stretchness. Now lastly, using some hot glue, you want to secure it better in place. It should look something like this. In total, you're gonna need three equal strings of cotton yarn and you wanna work your way through just like how you did with all four posts. Using a long piece of duct tape, you wanna wrap it around the barbecue sticks, just like so. And you wanna do this until the end. Make sure to overlap each layer so that you can have a much tight and better look. And this is how it's gonna look when you're done with all the wrapping. Repeat this four times for four posts. Now you want to cut out two little pieces of duct tape and you want to overlap one on top of the other. Now you want to place it on top of the post just like shown. Using another piece of duct tape, you want to wrap it around so that it looks much neater. This is how it's gonna look once you're done with all four. Flip the ring over, use another square piece of cardboard, glue the edges, And finally, you want to cover it up. This is an optional step, but you may do so. You want to take plastic suction cups and you want to trim out the little rim on the top using your scissors. Have a little chunk of hot glue and stick it in the corner of the ring. Just like this, you want to repeat it four times on four corners. This is how you make your own DIY WWE ring! So this is how I can wrap up my video. If this video was helpful to you, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel to get the latest DIY projects. Until then, I'll catch you all next time.